Dun, 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 dun. Hi, I'm Merrick Puster, and this is Channel Negative 6 News. Today, our report is about anole lizards. This report was written by Meredith Puster. Anole lizards are green to brown colored with pink fan-shaped flap of skin on their throat. They can quickly change color from green to spotted green and brown to all brown. Their habitat is parks, woods, old buildings, and lots, farm palm fronds, and thickets. They live in the southeastern U.S. from central Texas through South Car Carolina. Anole lizards are about four to eight inches long and have a long, and have a no long nose. Their tail consists of most of their length. The male anole lizards are bigger than the females and are fully mature with their when and their thaw, snouts are also longer. The lizards are green all over except the males have a flap under their throat which turns into a fiery red color during tutorial displays or when courting a, f a female for mating. Males also have sets of bigger scales at the point where the tail starts. The anole lizards are very tutorial and two males have been known to fight each other and attack if threatened. When the anole lizards are happy and relaxed, they they will be a dark shade of green, but if the anoles are stressed, threatened, or ill, they will change their color to different shades of brown, turning to a darker and darker shades of of brown depending on the level of stress. It sheds off its tail and grows a new one in its place, and also sheds off its skin during the shedding season and will then eat it. They are carnivores by nature, and anole lizard food consists of small bugs, insects, cockroaches, crickets, spiders, and moths. The mating season of the anole lizard starts in early April and goes on till late August. Before mating, a male will try to get the female's attention by displaying a red dwell up under its neck and, pop and bobbing its head up and down. When the female chooses a male, it's, the male will grab a fold of her neck, mount her, position its, his tail on the female's vent, and the mating will begin. After, two, after about two to four weeks post-mating, the female will lay her first set of eggs and continue to lay more until there are about, 18, until there are about 10 eggs. These eggs will be buried in the soil near their habitat and left to fend for themselves. The eggs will hatch in 35 to 40 days, and the young anoles will have to take care of themselves to survive. But will they? The anole lizard needs is a very expensive choice for a pet. Anole lizard lifespan in captivity is known to be around four years. The lizards can be kept in pairs or live alone. If one wants to keep two lizards, then the best choice is that two females, because if two males are housed together, they will end up fighting and a male-female might breed. The anole lizard needs to be housed in a container, like a tank, that is filled with substrate. The Ideal choice is to fill with it with a reptile carpet. Avoid using rocks, pebbles, cedar barks, or any of these as substrates because they might be toxic and house too many bacteria on them. The humidity levels of the tank need to be maintained at 70% to 60% at all times. The best choice is to spray the tank with purified water. Tap water has several chemicals that can prove to be toxic for the anole lizard and missed it several times a day. This is because the anole lizard does not drink water from a water bowl but licks off the moisture that is formed on the leaves. The anole lizard is a cold-blooded reptile and depends on its surroundings to make body heat. Therefore, providing a UVB light becomes essential. It also allows them to form vitamin D3 and calcium. The UVB must be kept on for 12 to 14 hours. Maintain the temperatures at 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Never use heat rocks for providing heat because they can burn the lizards. Along with this, a cool spot should never be made available with the tank so that they can cool off and regulate their body temperatures. At night, choose a black light or a purple light. 
Section 2 of Caring for Your Lizards When in captivity, the anole lizard must be fed daily with crickets, bugs, moths, and other insects. Wax worms can only be fed once in a while as they contain too much fat. The crickets and other insects that you feed the anole lizard must be dusted with vitamin power to maintain its, to maintain its nutrition. As an anole lizard will not consume anything that is bigger than its head, so keep the prey size to about one-fourth of its head. Do not feed them anything that is toxic like fireflies. Always be sure that the insects you feed them have no chemicals on them like bug spray, bug spray is used for killing them. Always remove any leftover food or droppings from the tank as they can be toxic. Clean the tank every month. Do not use any ammonia-based products to clean it as it can be fa fatal to the reptile. Clean the tank with warm water and vinegar to get rid of all the stains, then dry and replace. The anole lizard is a fascinating creature and fairly easy to take care of once the initial setup is done. Make sure to take a good care of the lizard and you can enjoy its activities for several years to come. Written by Meredith Buster. Thank you. And for watching. Channel Negative 6 News! Down, down, down.